Hello, I'm Bill Lancaster, and I'm going to be your host for this uh, video on, on uh, color. And I'm titling this thing, um, Color is Seductive. An artist friend of mine who does uh, a painting of, of uh, photographs, coloring of photographs, uh, said that color is seductive, and I think it truly is. There's a lot of uh, things about color that, um, that make it special and make what you do special. But I'll show you a whole bunch of stuff, including this uh, a whole array of things that you see here on this table. Some of it's color, some of it's just uh, regular brown and round, as embellishers like to call regular bowls brown and round. So I'm going to start with this little grouping here, which I did. I think I showed you this group of, uh, of uh, decorative edge bowls that I did, and my wife is put these nice glass uh, beads in them to make them beautiful. And I'll show you a few things that I've done. You know, here's the thing. A friend of mine said, um, if, you're a, if you're a wood turner, you either sell your stuff, give it away, or it all your house starts looking like a pottery shop. And so I've got to that point, I guess, where my house is a pottery shop. And these came out of a box. I've got three boxes of, of bowls stored upstairs at, um, uh, I hold it until I can give them away. So I'll show you some first brown and round things that I've done that you know, I've done a lot of brown and round. This is a walnut and you see that uh, just a plain old walnut bowl but here's another one and this one has uh, it's a beautiful big piece of walnut that I was able to, to uh, do with a balanced uh, uh, grain pattern. You see this light grain on the outside. The uh, the whole piece of walnut was as deep as this bowl is deep. That's about oh six or seven inches. But I, I was able to um, to do a grain balancing on it that made the the uh, the uh, light wood show up nicely on the bottom. The inside is the same kind of thing. You see that grain pattern. The bottom I almost ruined this bowl. I, almost went through the bottom and I had to shore it up with the e epoxy and I put my little branding sticker on the bottom of it. That's what they call brown and round but it's enhanced with the um, uh, with the grain. This is a cherry bowl and I finished that with uh, water locks which has a nice glossy finish. Beautiful uh, cherry and let's see what else I've got here. This is just a walnut piece. It's a brown and round. And uh, so I've done a lot of that, but you can also do color. And I have to show you this piece. This is a, a color this, that's uh, it's, it's ash. So I took it and uh, turned the bowl and then put my uh, my wire brush on it on the lathe to dig out the uh, the softer grain and then painted it with a blue color and then on top of the blue I put a uh, liming wax and the liming wax I've dyed just a light blue to kind of take a little bit of the uh, contrast out of it so we go with that blue of the bowl so you put the liming wax on it and then after you do that you uh, let the liming wax dry and then you you wipe the liming wax off and it stays in that softer grain. So you see that? That's a pretty neat thing to do, I think. So there's that. This is a, um, a Bradford pear bowl. And all I've done is taken uh, milk paint and put a navy blue on the side of it, which makes it look quite, uh, quite nice, I think. It's a big bowl. I like that bowl. Uh, this is a similar thing here. This is a, this is a honey locust bowl, a big thing. A friend of mine gave me the honey locust, and you'll see what kind of a honey-colored grain it has. And then I just put some uh, milk paint on the outside of it to give it a little color. And uh, this is a, a, a live oak bowl. Uh, with, I left the bark on it, and the bark goes all the way around it. So, and then on the outside, I put a kind of a green 
milk paint. And I took the, the uh, bottom out of it. You see that bottom is missing. And I did that so I could make sure that it didn't crack and uh, leave the, the, uh, the pith cracked at the bottom. So I've got to put a, a new bottom in it, and I'll do that with a, uh, with a colored epoxy. I've got a lot of these things. So here's a nice navy blue bow. That's probably a... And you see that was a natural edge. It's warped. So I did that green and then uh, let it warp. And it's kind of an oval shape. And, and uh, 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 that probably... What is that wood? I don't know. Maple or poplar? So there's that, then there's, this is just a, a, a maple bowl that I've put color on the outside. Kind of enhanced it with a little color and a little bead. And this one, same thing, that's got a red uh, milk paint on it. Um, this one, I, uh, this is ash, and I, I did the, uh, turned the bowl and then put the wire brush on it to clean out the, soft grain and then um, I coated it with um, with a red paint and then sanded off the red to leave the, uh, the the paint in the grooves. That's kind of a different thing. This is a little, I guess it's maple bow. I've put facets on the outside. Can you see those facets in the light? Put those on there with a uh, air grinder and a little uh, sanding disc, and then I uh, painted it with a couple of different colors. Um, probably airbrushed it, so yellow and red, and made some orange in the middle. So that's that sort of thing. Here is a uh, probably Bradford pear, and with a green milk paint on it. And then you can get into some sort of advanced things. This is a um, Scraffito bowl. Scraffito is an interesting process in Alstert, S-T-I-R-T. It's the national expert on Scraffito. Uh, you, this is a big platter, maple, and you turn the platter, and then you paint it. And in this case, I use the golden brand red paint on there and then you carve through the paint and I have a little reciprocal carver it's kind of the size of a Dremel tool but it's a reciprocal carver the the, the v-shaped carving blade goes in and out not round and round it goes in and out and it lets you carve and you see I've kind of fanned those those uh, grooves out it starts out narrow and comes around until it's very wide and then in the center, I did put some uh, gold leaf, which is uh, really kind of a nice, nice addition to this thing. I've forgotten what I did to mess up the inside, but I had to cover it up with the gold leaf. So there's that. And then there's another one here, another scraffito. You see that green one? It's another scraffito. It's just the same idea, but with a different uh, pattern on it. The other day I found, I was going to a, a um, estate sale of a good couple, dear friends of ours, who both had died, and I saw this little bow. I thought, you know, I like those colors. So it's got a purple color, and then the yellow, and and little flowers that are blue and red and green leaves and stuff. So I thought, you know, I like that color, and uh, I thought it had too much yellow on the inside, so I changed that. But uh, here's the uh, the kind of inspiration piece that was made in Italy. And so what I did was take a, um, a, a maple bowl that I had, and I kind of picked up the same color scheme, the purple, the yellow, the green, and on the bottom, yellow, I've got to finish the, the very bottom, and green. And then I put these little impressionistic flowers around the edges with a, a grinding uh, uh, ball that's probably oh three eighths of an inch across and um, made those little flowers with their petals and then painted them uh, different colors to kind of give it a playful childlike uh, color scheme and i'm going to give that to a child that i know 
So those, what, those are things you can do with, uh, with color. And there's a lot of stuff, honestly, you can do. So uh, I want to take you out and show you the colors that I use. And if you'll just give me a minute, I'm going to walk out with the uh, camera and uh, show you my color selections um, in the garage. Hang on a second. Take you out there. I'll show you the lathe booth on the way. This is my lathe booth. I've got a wonderful Powermatic lathe and dust collection and all this stuff that goes with it and uh, vacuum chuck and air pressure and all this stuff. It's really great. Over here are my for my lathe tools and here's a, another a maple color piece I'm going to be working on. You see I've done the outside of that with a golden brand green. Um, but let me show you my color cabinet. Now, these are the, the golden brand paints that you get. You, have, you cannot buy these at a big box store. I've got these at a, a small art supply store that sells all kind of paints, but they have this golden brand. You've got to get golden brand for a lot of your uh, work. These are transtent dyes, and if you want to dye wood, which I did some of, especially on those uh, decorative edge bowls, then get the transtent dyes. They're expensive, but, uh, but they will do the job. And then I got this airbrush. Uh, colors, which are wicked airbrush colors. I've got a whole bunch of them. You see them here. That's uh, wicked green. And then um, these are the uh, Nick Agar uh, dyes. And Nick Agar is a pro at this stuff. He just does beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I've got all kind of Nick Agar things in here. Some of it is called web effects, and you just spray it, and it does a little kind of a um, see those little squiggly lines on there? That's, that's a Nick Agar. You can put it on top of some white or other color and, and you get these, uh, you get red, blue, black. So you get different colors with the Nick Agar system. You can look at his website. You don't have to have fancy paints. Uh, just buy, here's the Ace Hardware Red. You can spray your your bowls with with this regular old rattle can stuff, you know, and it does great. You don't have to have fancy things. So I've got, you see, I've got a bunch of different colors, greens, blues, uh, yellows, different shades. Sometimes I like to apply things with uh, a brush and I have a little uh, palette there that I put my colors in and I'll, I'll mix up the um, the golden brand acrylic paints and the um, airbrush paints and I I'll put sometimes put the airbrush on with the airbrush on with a with the regular brush and not with the airbrush and uh, so that's uh, another way to do it you just don't have to stick with one particular brand of paint or method so you can do a variety of things and get great results so anyway that's uh, uh, kind of the story of of color and um, I like doing brown and so-called brown and round it's it's uh, beautiful stuff with nice grains but if you don't have good grains and I've got some that don't have good bright grains good brains here good <laughs> brains um, then go to color. I, I'll show you one more that I just really like and uh, I meant, meant to feature it before but I didn't but it's this little bowl. This is pecan and I did not like the, uh, the grain of the pecan. You see it's kind of has no personality and when I turned this bowl, it's been years ago, I got this bark thing left on the outside of it and I thought you know I could either turn this thing smaller and get rid of the bark or leave the bark on the outside. I decided to just make the bark a feature so I did and uh, uh, I turned these I uh, really cut these 
uh, flutes in the side with a, a bigger power cutter. And I painted the whole thing a sort of a, a lobster color or a salmon color. And then once that dried over the top of the salmon color, I painted it with this blue. And then once the blue had dried, I sanded down through the blue to make the, uh, the salmon color show. And then if you uh, just, when it sits on a shelf, you don't see this, but when you turn it up, you get a surprise. Boom, you get the salmon color full. And you don't see that until you turn it up, but there it is. It's uh, bark, and there it is, the salmon color. So that's kind of a, I thought a neat, uh, become one of my favorite bowls. My wife likes it too. At first we didn't like it, but uh, it's kind of grown on us, and now we, we like that little bowl. So there it is. That's a pretty good idea of things you can do with color. And goodness gracious, I've done a lot of color. Um, so uh, I recommend that to you. If you want to try some color, there it is. So that's all for now. Bye.